Hello everybody and welcome. In the last video we rigged the model. In this lesson we are going to take that rigged character and we are going to animate it to create a walk cycle. You can download the rigged character from the link in the description if you like. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the rigged character. I want my walk cycle to last 2 seconds, so first I'm gonna set the end frame. Let's go down to the 2 second mark in the timeline. Here I will add a keyframe by clicking on the key and then clicking on the plus. Adding a keyframe freezes everything in the current frame. So as you can see we now have two keyframes. The first keyframe at the 0 seconds and the last keyframe at 2 seconds. Next we are going to set the halfway pose. The first thing I do is I enable animation mode by clicking on this green man in the bottom right corner. I then click on the middle frame at exactly 1 second and I want to move the bones to the halfway position. The halfway position will be exactly the same as the first position but with the right arm forward and the left arm backward instead of with the left arm forward and the right arm backward. I also want to change the legs as well and as I adjust the pose you can see that yellow diamonds appear in the timeline. These are waypoints. Waypoints are uh, targets. The object will move from one waypoint to another and Synfig will calculate the motion of the objects. Uh, you can also notice that the waypoints have been added not only to the frame I am currently working on, but also to the frames before and after the current frame. These waypoints ensure that the keyframe does not change. When you are satisfied with the middle frame, we're going to add a keyframe to ensure that the, this frame will not be affected by the waypoints which we are going to add later. So let's scrub the timeline and see uh, the result. It's not bad for a first step considering we only added one frame until now. As a next step we are going to adjust the frame at uh, 0.5 seconds. Let's also click on the onion in the icon bar. If we set the past onion skins to 1 we see the pose in the previous keyframe in transparent. The first thing to do is to move the model upwards so that the bottom of the feet are at the same level as the bottom of the feet in the previous keyframe. Also people usually bend their knees so let's adjust the pose of the leg which is moving forward. Let's bend it. And after that let's grab the time timeline It's getting better, getting better. Uh, now let's go to the one and a half second timeline and let's do the same here as we did for the one at a half a second. After we've done that let's preview by pressing F11 or by clicking on file preview. Here we can adjust the quality of the preview. The lower the quality, the faster the preview will be finished, but obviously with a lower quality. Or we can have a high quality preview, but that would take a longer time to render. As you can see, we've got one loop of the walk cycle lasting two seconds. 
but the animation lasts 5 seconds, so the model stands still for about 3 seconds. We can uh, fix this by adding a loop layer. Right click on the skeleton layer and go to new layer. Then to time and then time loop. This time loop will apply to all the layers in the same group. So in other words, to all the layers in character 5 in this case. Let's click on the parameters tab. We want to change the duration of the loop to 2 seconds. So double click on the value to change it. And let's preview it again. Notice that in the beginning I was careful to add a keyframe to the first and the last frames in the loop before making any changes. This ensures that the first and the last frames in the loop are identical. And that's a simple walk cycle done, easy as cake. She's still a little stiff, she's walking a bit like a robot or a zombie, so if you want to make the movement a bit more fluid or natural, you should do more tweaking. For example, you could add a slight nod to the head, or you could uh, tweak a sway in the arms. Be careful not to add too many waypoints and too many uh, keyframes or your walk cycle will become too complicated and hard to modify in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful and or interesting. If you did, you might find this video interesting too. And uh, since you're here anyway, why not have a click on the like button. See you next time. Bye bye.